Hello viewers, welcome to the section Data Wrangling. In this section, we will learn about reading a CSV file, manipulating data with a dplyr, and tidying up with a tidyr. Now, we move on to the video Reading a CSV File. In this video, we will walk through the process of reading a CSV and adjusting the data set to arrive at some conclusions about the data. The data I'm using is found at this website that is the Heating System Choice in California Houses dataset. Let's see this dataset in our Jupyter Notebook. First, upload our dataset, which we have downloaded from the website. Next, click on New drop-down menu and select R. Once selected, rename the notebook as Reading a CSV File. To read in the CSV file as available on the site, type read.csv with the file name and set the header value. After that, type head with the value as heating, which will make sure the data is laid out the way we expect. Let's run the code. The data appears to be as expected. However, many of the columns have acronym names and are somewhat duplicated. Let us change the names of interest that we want to be more readable and remove the extras we're not going to use. Place the code from the code bundle file. In this highlighted block of code, we change the column names to be more readable. Execute this cell. Next, we need to remove the columns which are not used. As you can see, we have placed the columns names which are not used. Let's run this cell. Now, check the data layout again to see the changes which we made. As you can see, the duplicate column names have been removed. Now that we have a tighter data set, let us start to look over the data. Get rough statistics on the data using summary heading line of code. Some points pop out from the summary. There are five different types of heating systems, gas cooling being the most prevalent. Costs vary much more than expected. The data covers four large regions of California. The ration of the annual cost versus the initial cost varies much more than expected. It is not obvious what the data relationship might be, but we can use the rplot function to provide a quick snapshot that shows anything significant. Type plot heating. Execute this cell to the result. Again, several interesting facts jump out. The initial cost varies widely within the type of system. The annual cost varies within the type of system as well. Costs vary widely within the ranges of customer income, age, number of rooms in the house, and region. The only direct relationship between variables appears to be the initial cost of system and the annual cost. Let's type the code. With covariance, we are looking for a measure of how much two variables change in relation to each other. If we run a covariance between the install and annual cost, we get this highlighted result. I'm not sure I've seen a higher covariance result. We can look at another CSV in the same dataset to see what kind of issues we run across. Using the yearly batting records for all Major League Baseball players that we downloaded from the same site, we can use coding to start analyzing the data. Let's upload the data and click on the new drop-down menu and select R. Once selected, rename the title name as Reading Another CSV File. To read in the CSV file as available on the site, type read.csv with the file name and set the header value. Use Head Players line of code to display the data. Now, run this cell to see the result. As you can see, there are many statistics for baseball players in this dataset. There are also many NA values. R is pretty good at ignoring NA values. Let us first look at the statistics for the data using Summary Players line of code. This generates statistics on all the fields involved. Many interesting points are visible in this display that are worth noting. We have about 30 data points per player. 
It is interesting that the player data goes back to 1871. There are about 1,000 data points per team. American League and National League are clearly more popular. Now we plot some of the dominant data points. We first plot players, then set parameters for doubles. After that, we set parameters for home runs and triples. Finally, we create a title with a red, bold, or italic font. Let's run this cell to see the result. We have a display of the types of hits made by players over time. The statistic graphs are displayed in this order so that smaller values are not overwritten by larger values. In this video, we read a CSV file. 